Hey, this is Mr. Perez. Today we're going to work on combining like terms. So let's get out Charlie. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie. We got a lot of work today. So let's get started right there. Combining like terms. Here's our first problem. 3 subtract 6 plus 7 subtract 4. Now, order of operations states that when you have additions and subtractions, you must work left to right. So let's go ahead and do that. 3 subtract 6 is negative 3. Bring down your work. Negative 3 plus 7 is 4. Bring down your work. And 4 subtract 4 is what, Charlie? 0. That's right, 0. Now, if everything had been added together, then we could use the commutative property of addition to change the order of everything, and therefore we can add in any order we want. So what we're going to do today is change all of our subtractions to adding negative numbers, and therefore we can add in any order we want. So watch. Here's the same problem. 3 subtract 6 plus 7 subtract 4. But let's rewrite it as 3 plus a negative 6 plus a 7 plus a negative 4. And notice everything is being added, so we can go in any order we want. So we'll first add the positive numbers together. 3 plus 7 is 10 plus, and now we'll add the negative numbers together. Negative 6 plus a negative 4 is a negative 10, and 10 plus a negative 10 is the same as 10 subtract 10, which is 0. Now, this is what we're going to learn to do today. Now, we want to avoid having to write down all these intermediate steps. And once we learn that, then we can apply this Kung Fu math technique. And once we learn the Kung Fu, then the problems get very easy. So let me demonstrate how a black belt would do it. Watch. Here's the problem here. The black belt sees everything being added. So they say, oh, 3 plus 7 is 10. Negative 6 plus a negative 4 is a negative 10. But adding a negative 10 is the same as subtracting 10. 10 take away 10 is 0. That's it. But you've got to work up to that. Okay? So be sure you practice. Now, before we move on, let's talk about variables. So, okay, Charlie, here's x plus x plus x. What does this mean, Charlie? x times 3 or 3 times x? Well, both are correct because by the commutative property for multiplication, x times 3 is the same as 3 times x, which is simply written 3x. Remember, 3x means 3 times x, which is x plus x plus x. 3x is being added together. Okay, so now, we're going to do 3x's plus 2 more x's, which is simply 3x's plus 2 more x's, which is how many x's, Charlie? 5x's. Five 5x's. Exes. Five exes. It's like if you had 3 apples and somebody gives you 2 more apples, how many apples do you have, Charlie? 5 apples. That's right, 5 apples. Okay, so let's do another one. Here's 3 ab's take away 2 ab's. So 3 ab's take away 2 ab's leaves you with how many ab's, Charlie? One AB. One AB. How do you write one AB? AB. Just like that. One AB. AB, that's it. You don't have to put the one in front. Okay. Let's get going here. Here we go. We're going to start combining like terms. Now, remember, we're going to visualize everything being added. So we have a negative 2x plus a negative 7x, which is negative 9x. And now a negative 6 plus 9 is what, Charlie? 3 plus 3, and that's it. You cannot combine. Uh, a negative 9x and a 3 because they are not like terms. All right, here's another problem. Now, first, we're going to remove the parentheses by applying the distributive property. So here we go. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. What's negative 2 times 4, Charlie? Negative 8. That's right. Now, bring down your work. And now, let's combine like terms. Okay, Charlie, pay attention. Negative 2x plus a negative 3x is what? Negative 5x. That's right, negative 5x. Just like negative 2 plus a negative 3 is negative 5, but these are x's. Now, negative 8 plus 5 is what, Charlie? Negative 3. Negative 3. It's the same as 5 plus a negative 8. Same, however you want to look at it. And that's your result. Now, be careful over here. This is negative 2 times the quantity x subtract 4, right? Now, in the parentheses, that x subtract 4 we're going to visualize it as x plus a negative 4. So watch what happens. Negative 2 times x is a negative 2x. Now negative 2 times a negative 4 is a positive 8, so we'll go ahead and add a positive 8. It's just plus 8, right? Bring down our work. And Charlie, negative 2x plus a negative 3x is what? Negative 5x. Very nice. And this one, 8 plus 5 is 
13. All right, very nice there. Okay, and we gotta practice. So let's do some other ones here. Here we go, right here, this is a tough one. Don't get scared. Now notice, we're gonna bring down our negative three AB. Now it's subtract A times that parentheses, right? But we're gonna treat that subtract A as adding a negative A. Therefore, we can distribute a negative A into our parentheses and watch what happens. Remember, we're viewing everything as being added. So negative A times 6B is a negative 6AB, but adding a negative 6B is the same as subtracting 6AB. Negative A times a negative 2 is a positive 2A, so we simply add a positive 2A, and there's a result. Now we bring down our work. Okay, Charlie, now we're looking for like terms. The variables have to be identically the same. Notice that we have a, b, right? And we have some terms that just have an a. So we're going to group the a, b's. Watch, look right here. See negative 3 with a negative 6 and another negative 3. And it's just basic arithmetic. Watch. We're trying to do this arithmetic problem. Negative 3, subtract 6, subtract 3, which is really the same as negative 3 plus a negative 6 plus a negative 3. And by now, we should know that that result is a negative 12, right? When you add all the negatives together, you'll get negative 12. Right? And so, Charlie, what's negative 3AB plus negative 6AB plus a negative 3AB? Negative 12AB. Negative 12AB. That's right. Okay. Now, how about 2As plus 5 more As? 7A. 7As, you bring down your work there. Very nice there, Charlie. Now, let's go to this, this last problem here. Okay. We have 2X times acquiring negative 6 plus 5X. Subtract 3X times acquiring 2X. Subtract 3. So here we go, 2x times negative 6 is what, Charlie? 12x. That's right. Okay, what's 2x times 5x? 10x. Okay, it's not 10x. Okay, you were close. It's 10x squared. Don't forget, you're taking 2x times 5x. 2 times 5 is 10. x times x is x squared. So the result is 10 times x squared, which is written 10x squared. So be careful with that one. All right, Charlie, let's see if you can recover. What's negative 3x times 2x? Negative 6x squared. Very nice there, Charlie. That's right, negative 6x squared. And now, negative 3x times a negative 3 is what? 9x. That's right, plus 9x. Now, let's combine like terms. So let's do our x's first. Negative 12x plus 9x is what, Charlie? Negative 3x. That's right, negative 3x. And now, 10x squared plus negative 6x squared is 4x squared. 4x squared. Very nice there, Charlie. Now, later in the semester, we're going to be dealing with something called polynomials. And the proper format for polynomials is to, look, is to take the variable with the highest power and put it in the front. So this answer is acceptable at this point. But later in the semester, we're going to have to put that 4x squared in the front. So how do we do this? In this case, we apply the commutative property for addition and change it to 4x squared plus a negative 3x. And remember, adding a negative 3x is the same as subtracting 3x. And that's the proper format when we get to writing out polynomials. Whew, that was a tough one. So let's take a break, and we'll come back and do some more combining like terms very soon.